everyone, welcome to Nails of Interest. Today I've got a few things I'd like to show you. I'd like to thank everyone for being here with me today. First off, someone wanted to see the difference between Model 1's Jingle Bell. This originally came in the Santa Day collection. Last year I got it on the Black Friday sale for 50% off. And they wanted to see the difference between Golden High Heel, which originally is in Glitter Party. There is quite a bit of a difference. As you can see, I only put two coats on. Nothing fancy, I just put them on like I normally put gel polish on. And I use the same top coat. So that's the difference. This one has like more metallic-y, I don't know what you call the little flakies. This one has more of the fine glitters. They're both gorgeous, great for their own kind of looks. Then someone requested that I try to do an ombre. I've only done a couple of them. I did glitters. I did a triple with a really thin gel. So I'm going to try to use the ones from my video when I showed this set off. I'm going to try to use this one and this one, which would be... See, the dark one is 1146. I already take it and I'll just put the lid on top like that so that I can get to it faster. This was 1147. So 4647. I believe this is, yeah, this is the light gray. So I'm going to try to do a horizontal ombre with those. Normally I would just have my bare nail, but I don't like to waste. So I also have a new ombre brush, the same one like before, but I'm just going to see if I can accomplish it with these gels. I've never done a great ombre before. And this one obviously I wouldn't have to cover the tip as well since I've already covered it. If you want enough gel up here, not too much so you don't get wrinkles in it. What i just been doing, well. I don't have enough of the dark, I don't think. Now it's a little bit thick right here, but I'm going to just tickle it in with the ombre brush. This is an ombre brush. It's a new one, so I don't know for sure how well it's going to perform, but we will see. I've just been tickling the colors together. I'm not like perfect at it. I've never done a solid cream like this. Just trying to give it a go. Wipe the brush off in between. Just trying to fade it up into, I'm gonna cheat since I'm not on my own nail. Just try to fade it up into another color. Some gels are easier to ombre than others. And how you tickle it changes it too. And some go sideways with the ombre brushes. I haven't been able to get that to function at all. This one this brush has kind of got too many little, I wiped the brush off. It's not fuzzy enough near the end, so I'm having a time. I'll wipe it off between. Off. Trying to get my brush back flattened out. I don't know what I did with my other brush. I need to find it again. It was a. It looked identical, but the hairs on the end were a little bit fluffier. So I think that helped me out a lot. 
I didn't realize it's probably the curing. I need to put another layer on. That's probably what I'm doing. I'm moving my ombre all over the place. So let me give it a cure and put a second coat on and see if I can get better results. Let's give this a try again. sure she told me it was just a brush off of Wish or AliExpress. That's where I got this one from. This brush is just not coming back into shape. So that's what's scooping me up. It's just not coming back into shape after I wipe it off. I can see the brush lines in it. Well, it's not too bad. I'm gonna give this a cure and then I'm gonna try some glitter on top because everything is always better with some glitter. And I'll show you the difference between She Modern now has the sheer colors. And they, they at first you'll appear that they look like just they're the same thing. But no, there is sparkling and then there's non-sparkling. This one has glitter mixed in with the pigment. This is just pigment. So of course I'm gonna go with the sparkling. See if I can give this like a frosted look. Just a little piece of plastic. Take the sheer sparkling. This is the sheer white with glitter in it. Just to try to give this a frosted Type look since we are most people are approaching winter time. I've seen people swatching it out over black and white, but you can you can really use this over any color you want to. It's like a sheer glitter with some white pigment in it. Sure you can. I'm, I haven't used the white yet. I'm just tapping it into the sticky layer. This gel polish had enough sticky layer. I didn't need to use the glue gel or the grip gel. Sometimes you will have to use a stickier gel. That's a cool look. Let me give it a top coat so we can just see. This is my Model 1's Leaf You Steel Top Coat.
and your brush you want to wipe that off even if it's your glitter top coat I like using a black brush that's why I'm using this one so I can see it some glitters you may want to use a clear brush white brush and give this a cure well that's my ombre nail with the white sheer color with the sparkling glitter added to it I think that's a pretty cool look I'll take a picture of this in the daylight to let you see what it would look like thank you for being here with me today everyone I had I really appreciate it. Leave me a comment below. Let me know you were here. Have a great day, everyone. Till next time, you be you and I'll be me. Bye-bye.